tax day raises the question of why working families pay considerably higher tax rates than large firms and the wealthiest individuals. In a year when so many families are trying to make ends meet, the question feels more pressing than ever. This was a year of turbulence and economic ruin for many. The pandemic pushed historically underprivileged people to the brink of extinction. Whole industries went bankrupt, displacing millions of people. At the same time, it was a year of rising earnings and gigantic wealth for those at the top. In reality, the pandemic increased the wealth of US billionaires by around $1.2 trillion. But by far the biggest winner of 2020 is Jeff Bezos, whose net worth has increased by $85 billion since the outbreak began to $198 billion. Amazon's profits nearly doubled as hundreds of millions of households flocked to online shopping for the items they needed to get through the shutdown. Amazon sold everything from food necessities to masks to toilet paper to puzzles and streaming shows. Consider who should pay the higher tax rate, the average worker earning roughly $50,000 per year, or Amazon, which made $66 million in profit per day in 2020. The truth is that the average US worker pays a 22% tax rate. Amazon's federal tax rate has been around 4% on average. Over the last three years, the firm has profited $45 billion in the United States while paying only $1.9 billion in taxes. While this is astounding, the underlying issue is that Amazon isn't doing anything unlawful or particularly devious here. Because we have created a tax system that is more than uneven, it intentionally favors the most wealthy and lucrative while pinching working families who can least afford it. And this goes considerably further than the Trump tax cuts, which slashed the corporate tax rate from 35% to 21% in 2017. Indeed, our tax system provides numerous options for wealthy individuals and organizations to avoid paying taxes, which Amazon has mastered. The corporation can give stock options to wealthy executives as a tax write-off and carry forward operating losses from previous years. So, how do we proceed from here? We have an opportunity to recalibrate right now. President Biden's American Jobs and American Families plans would go a great way toward unrigging the laws that have permitted so many firms and rich individuals to pay so little tax. The American Employment Plan will raise the corporate tax rate, address offshore tax loopholes, and reduce the incentive for American employment to be offshore. The American Families Plan would boost the marginal rate for people earning more than $400,000, raise the capital gains rate for the wealthiest Americans, and provide the IRS with much-needed tools to ensure tax evaders pay their fair share. No one earning less than $400,000 would pay more tax, and most would pay less. We will never recover from COVID-19 in a fair and equitable manner if we continue to have a society in which businesses and the wealthiest grow richer while everyone else suffers. If Amazon paid the current U.S. corporation tax rate of 21%, it would pay an additional $2.5 billion in taxes each year, which would be enough to offer Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program SNAP, assistance to 1.7 million Americans in need. A 3% wealth tax on Jeff Bezos alone would generate $6 billion in revenue from his $198 billion fortune which would be enough to give childcare to every child under the age of four in Amazon's home state of Washington, 440,000 youngsters. A pandemic profits tax, to ensure that firms like Amazon that profited from the pandemic are fairly taxed on their windfall revenues would generate an additional $11 billion in income from Amazon alone. That is enough to vaccinate 580 million people worldwide. While many of us dislike doing our taxes, we also understand that the money goes toward things that allow our society to prosper. From interstate highways to national parks, from vaccine development to unemployment assistance. These services underpin our system, and they benefit both individual taxpayers and major enterprises like Amazon. They should also be forced to pay their fair share. Amazon was used as an example in this video and to be fair, they are only one of many corporations that are being undertaxed. There are actually many undertaxed corporations and they are not investing their extra profits from low taxation into employee compensation or better benefits. They are investing their excess profits in stock buybacks, which will be discussed in a future video. What do you think of how little corporations are taxed? Leave a comment below. Take care and remember that your money matters.